Hello, and welcome to the Sawman 2 tutorial for how I made my music video. I'll just be showing you some of the tricks I used to get some of the, the results that I did, um, and tips for you to get uh, a nicer looking music video to learn from my mistakes, as to say. Um, so, what I did was... Um, well, I basically, I, I knew the song pretty well, so I was just, uh, and I knew the chords, so I took my guitar and I had my friend shoot me, just not, not, not shoot me shooting, but, you know, uh, he held the camera and I was, uh, playing the guitar and singing it, and there were times, even though I was singing the right words, I was getting off track with the song. So, one thing that I did was, as you can see, like, right here, I, I got video of, um, how was it? I got video of this like bench thing right there, so uh, to cover up that I didn't know the words, and even then I I still didn't like the ending. You could see that my words weren't synced up, but you know whatever. It it was good, and then the very ending, the I like turtles. If we zoom in here, I I thought it was very appropriate, personally. So, um. Uh, uh, if you would like to like this effect right here, where I'm uh, uh, doing slow motion in the background, and the camera doesn't look like it's moving and stuff, and it's awesome. Well, if we go over to After Effects, which uh, what I did to get into After Effects is you go, you left click, uh, you right click. Sorry, you right click. I'm on PC. And then you go to uh, replace with After Effects composition, and then it will open up a composition for you here in After Effects. And then uh, how I did this was I took the Premiere file, and I actually went to Speed and Duration, and then this window comes up, and then you're able to actually uh, scroll this wheel to get the desired time you would like it to go on, and then. Uh, once you have that, the, the footage is it's slower, but it's kind of choppy. So what you do is you go into After Effects, and you see uh, right here, if I click this, it's going to mess my timeline up for pre-rendered stuff. But if you see, if we look here, we can kind of scroll through here and see the choppiness of it. Let me uh, bring down my quality. We can see the choppiness of my hand move. Oh, crap, you can't even see that choppiness of my hand moving it's not very smooth so what we do is we press the fra frame blending and uh, we click that twice until we get a straight solid line and then we click this uh, enables frame blending for all layers with the frame blend switch set so when we scroll through it interprets what frames need to fill to get the desired slow motion effect so I didn't use Twixter. Uh, I don't even own Twixter. I, I don't know exactly how to use it. Um, maybe some doubt about it. Yeah, you know. Um, and then for shots like, uh, well, let's see if we can find one. Um, okay, that's rain. No, we're almost there. I know we are. Okay, so a shot like this, if we scroll through here in our timeline, you can see it's very smooth. It's uh, it's just pleasing to the eye, which before, actually, if we go over to that layer here somewhere, or composition, sorry, in After Effects, here it is. Wow, I got lucky first time. Okay, so if we, uh, if we click on this clip, we can see I enabled the Warp Stabilizer for... Uh, for this clip, which, if we look at this real quick, it's very nice, very smooth. If we undo this effect, you can see actually the camera was very shaky. It was kind of, I don't know, it just seemed kind of like, eh, eh, no, get it away. Yeah, you know. <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean, if you don't, whatever. Um, I slowed down these rain clips a tiny bit. Uh, not really noticeable because the rain's still going really fast. Um, hey, I think, I think I showed you what I wanted to show you. Oh, and one thing, one thing that I just wanted to point out, because I didn't know of it, is this little, 
this little thing right here, pitch shifter. Uh, I do interviews sometimes and um, uh, with people and they ramble on a long time and I need to get them to end their sentences quicker in post. So what I end up doing is I add the pitch shifter to the end of the clip and I bring down their pitches by two. And then when they're talking, instead of saying like, and then I ate the grapes and, and then I cut them off. I, I use the pitch shifter and they end up saying, and then I ate the grapes. Just an example. They didn't eat grapes or whatever. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you uh, with your own music video. It, I would like to actually see them if you are inspired by this. So um, put it in uh, the, the description, not the description, put it in the comments below. I would like to see your video responses. And if you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I will answer them right quick. So thank you for watching.